Okay, so um, for this video, let's continue with the other two examples for chapter four. All right, so chat, uh, let's have a look at example three, and then uh, generally for this example three, right? Uh, I don't know how you feel about it, lah. It is slightly more complicated with some other example, but generally you still can do it if you are very careful. All right, okay, so let's have a look for this one. They give a figure also, and then they tell that there are two coins with the radius of 16 and also 4 cm touch each other externally and line on the straight line AB shown in the diagram. So they want to find the area enclosed by the two coins and also the line AB. So generally, where is the two coins and the line AB? Okay, so these are two coins, right, and the line AB. So that means this is the area that they actually want you to find out. Okay, so now once you know that, okay, now, this is the area that you want to find out already. So I have to try to think of what is the correct method, or maybe what is the correct process for you to try to get the area, shade the area here. Okay, so maybe first, uh, I will give you some idea here. Okay, so you will see that if I try to join the X and Y together, and then... If I put it as a straight line, go to the tangent point, and this is also the same. Okay, so I hope that you can see this green color part is actually a trapezium. You can see, you know, so this is a trapezium for green color part. Okay, and then after you use this trapezium, right, you can use the trapezium area minus two sector here so this is the first sector and then this is the second sector okay so if you take trapezium minus the area of the two sector then you can get the area shaded area that you want okay all right so now let me enlarge okay the figure that i have here so that it's easier for me to uh, how to say, label the important values. Uh. Okay, all right, so let us have a look. Uh. So, of course, uh, my figure might not be perfect, okay, but I hope that you can roughly see that what is it about. Okay, so this is my X, this is my Y. I will assume that this is um, C and this is D, uh, let's say. Okay, so we're having two sectors, right? So the first sector is something like this. So the length AB is here. And then you want to find out. Okay, so there's one here in blue color. Okay. Alright, then after that I have another sector in purple color. Okay, so the purple color sector will look something like this. Okay. I will see that it will be something like this. Maybe the my drawing is not perfect, but at least it looks something like this. And also, this is the area that you want to find out. Okay, so I try to enlarge it to let you see it clearly. Okay, so this is what you want actually. All right, so I will actually try to cancel off this figure so that I have more space to write out. Okay, so this is what I want to find out now. Uh, and then maybe I'm thinking that, okay, like the information, maybe I should put in more. Like, okay, so to put in more information, right, maybe I will draw a straight line here, a horizontal line here. Okay, so I will draw a horizontal line here. And it is 90 degrees so that you can see a triangle here, right angle triangle on top. Okay, and then uh, because the ratio of my drawing is not the correct one, so therefore the figure that you see is a bit weird. Okay, but no matter how, I just want you to know that the length for YD is 4 cm, the length for X and this point is actually 16. Because the radius is 16, all right? Okay, then if let's say this is 4, then you should know also this is 4, and therefore this length is 12, so that 12 plus 4 is 16. But, you know, it's very obvious that the ratio that I'm drawing is a bit weird. Therefore, you see that the trap is so short and then the point is so long. 
Okay, right. So no matter how I didn't draw it according to the ratio. Okay, so this is what I have here. So maybe uh, for me, because I know that I want to find the sector, the area of the sector for blue color, right? So to find the area of the sector for the blue color, I actually need the angle here. So I will label this angle as height. Okay, and then after that, if I want to find the uh, area for this sector also, I need the angle. Okay, so this angle is very large. It is 90 degree plus something else. Uh. So I will assume that this, uh, sorry, this angle, okay, this is the angle. I hope that you can see it. And I will label this as alpha, let's say. Okay. All right. So now, before I start doing anything, maybe I need to find out the theta. And so I need to find out the alpha first. Okay. So to find the theta and to find the alpha, right, I will refer to this triangle on top. I hope that you can see it when I draw the um, red color line here. Okay, so now I want to find the theta, I want to find the alpha. Okay, so if let's say I look at this triangle, I know that I can use the value for cos theta. So what is the value for cos theta? It is actually 12 over 20. Okay, so that means your theta is what? Your theta is actually cos inverse 12 over 20. And then if you simplify 12 over 20, then you will get 3 over 5. Okay, so this one, I will just keep it like this first. Uh, I don't want to press the long step for the calculator, uh, the long answer from the calculator yet. I will just keep it as short as possible. Okay, next, I want to get the value for alpha. So to get the value of alpha, I know that sine alpha is equals to 12 over 20 also. Okay, so what is my alpha here? My alpha here will be sine inverse 3 over 5. So this one I will highlight it is as purple color. So again, I didn't pass out the long answer yet because I know this is not a fine answer. Lah. I need to substitute it in my step later. So I just keep it like this. Okay, yeah? all right. Then now let me start with the main calculation part. Lah. So to, make, to get the main calculator part, you want to get the shaded area, right? Okay, so the shaded area means what? So the shaded area means the area of trapezium minus sector 1. So maybe the sector 1 is the blue color sector that I tell you here, like sector 1. Okay, then minus the purple color or the uh, purple color like sector 2. Okay, so I put it in different color here. Blue color is sector 1, purple color is sector 2. Okay, so how to calculate the area of the trapezium? So to calculate the area of the trapezium, again, it is actually half. Then the top and also the bottom length. So which is uh, 16 plus 4 multiply with the length here. Okay, so how to calculate this length? So to calculate this length, you know that it is actually the length here for the triangle, right? Okay, so you should use hypo Pythagoras theorem again. Ah. So which is 16 square, oh sorry, 20 square. 20 will be your uh, hypotenuse, right? So 20 square minus the 12 square. Okay, then you'll get the length for CD. Okay, then minus sector number one. So what is the area for sector number one? It is a uh, area of sector, so the formula should be half. R square. So R is 16 square. Then theta. So the theta here, what is the value for theta? You already get it just now, which is cos inverse 3 over 5. So I will put it as cos inverse 3 over 5. Multiply up the thing here. Okay, and after that, I minus sector number two. So for sector number two, again, it is a area of the sector. So half R square. So four square theta. So the theta is actually this whole thing, right? To get the area of the sector. So just like you know the sign, you already get a value for alpha, but the original theta is alpha plus 90 degree. Therefore, you will have sine inverse 3 over 5, which is alpha 
plus 90 degree. So the 90 degree is pi over 2. Okay, so again, maybe I will just label this for you. This is actually your alpha here. Okay, so it should be alpha plus 90 degree to get the whole degree that you want for the sector. Okay, so you can see that I try to write everything in a very complete way or maybe in a shorter, um, not to say complete, like maybe I can say that in, in a shorter way. I didn't calculate all the value out. I just keep it in the original form like this. Okay, then after that, only I continue to press calculator. If you want it to be safe, then you can simplify one by one. Okay, you get all the value one by one here. And again, because in your calculation, you have this kind of answer, cost inverse 3 over 5. And the data that you want to get should be in radian, right? And this is also the same. You want to get your data of alpha in radian. Therefore, this whole equation, when you want to press it in calculator, it should be in the radian mode, okay? Okay. All right, so if your calculator, you press it correctly and you didn't do any careless mistake, all right, the final answer that you get should be 23.6. After you try to simplify and change it, become three significant figures. Okay, so just make sure that you try to press calculator carefully. Now. So if you feel worried, then you can press out the value one by one. You can press out this value first, you write it out. Then you press this value, you write it out. But of course, when you write it out, you have to write as long as possible so that your final answer is more accurate. Okay, same thing happens here. All right, so this part will be it for you to figure it out. Okay, the final answer should be 23.6 only. Okay, all right, and again, please don't forget to change your calculator into the radian mode. All right, so this is what we have for chapter example three. So this example is a bit special because it actually didn't uh, give you a lot of hints. They just straight away tell you that I want to find this shaded area. So you have to think of the methods yourself and you have to set up the solution yourself. Okay, but for some other question, right, sometimes they will actually give you a hint. Okay, first step, you try to find this one first. Then after that, they want you to find the other thing. And the first two parts of the answer, right, you actually need to use to find the area. So this one is a bit short, uh, the question. This should really tell you that, okay, like, no matter how, I just want you to find the area only. So you have to set up all the steps yourself. All right, so if, let's say, you get this kind of question in the exam, usually you need some time on uh, because you need to figure out uh, what is the correct method and what is the correct steps for you to find out all the things that you want. Okay, all right. Then now let's continue to example four. Okay, so for example four, if you look at the question again, um, again, it is very nice uh, because they give you a very nice figure already. And then it try, they try to explain. All right, okay, you are having uh, a part of the circle, all right, and then after that, what do you have? Uh, the chord AB is such that the angle AOB is 2.2 radian. So they want to calculate the parameter and also the ratio. Okay, so first of all, because they want to calculate the parameter of the shaded region, right? So if you want to calculate the length of arc for this, you need the angle for this part. So what is the angle for this part here? So it should be 360 degree means 2 pi. Okay, then minus the 2.2. So your theta for this, uh, this arc length one, it should be 2 pi minus 2.2. Okay, then after that, I think you can start really. Lah. So for part one, if they want you to calculate the parameter, right? Okay, so first you have two radius x and also 6 cm. So you can take it up as 2 times 6 lah, if you want. And then plus, you need to know what is the length of this arc. So the length of the arc formula is r theta. So what is your r? It is 6. What is your theta here? It is 2 pi minus 2.2. Okay, then after that again, you try to press calculator and then simplify your answer into three significant figures. Then you should get 36.5. Okay, all right. Then next one, for part number two, they want you to find the ratio of area of the shaded region 
to the area of the triangle AOB. Okay, and then you want to keep your answer in the form of K to 1. Okay, so let's start. What they want? They want the area of shaded region to the area of triangle AOB. Okay, so what is the formula for area of the shaded region? It will be half R square theta. So you see that this area is a large area, right? Therefore, the angle that you use should be the large angle, which is 2 pi minus 2.2 to the area of half of the AOB. So the area of AOB also means half. And then you should have A, this one, multiplied with this, and then sine 2.2. So you should have 6 multiplied with 6 and then sine 2.2. Okay, so if you refer to your steps here, generally what you can see is that you can cancel off the half, you can cancel off the 6 and the 6 squared. Okay, and then now by just, because in your answer, right, they want you to have it something like k to 1. So that means you have to change this value become 1. How to change this value become 1, eh? So you have to divide it by sine 2 by 2, right? 2.2, so it become 1. So this part, you also need to minus it by sine 2.2. Okay, so if you press calculator correctly, then you should have 5.0 to 3 significant figure to 1. So this one will be your answer. Okay, so again, if you see this, you are having sine 2.2. 2.2 is actually what? It's actually the radian, right? So when you press calculator, again, please keep it in the radian mode. All right, so here I actually select the four questions uh, to discuss with you. And please remember that it is not enough for you to score very well in the exam. But of course, I just give you some hint uh, or maybe some idea how are they going to ask the question. So if you want to know more about the, past, uh, the exam style question, please try more past here. Okay, so here we end our chapter 4 already. So that means um, chapter 4 completed. All right, so next video we will um, discuss with chapter 5. All right, so this is what we have for this video. Yeah.